This is 69 News, live at sunrise. Your life, your world, your news. 69 News, live at sunrise, starts now. All right, Rick, thanks. Well, June is National Dairy Month, a good time to look at what you should know about children and milk. So today we're answering the most common questions that moms and dads have, thanks to the help of our good friend, dietitian Althea Zankowski, who joins me now in the studio. Good morning. Happy Dairy Month. Happy Dairy Month to you. Yippee, a yippee day. Um, so talk to me about milk. Uh, it's gotten a little complicated, right? It used to be like skim, 1% whole, done. Now we have rice, uh, almond, coconut. I mean. Where do we begin? What should kids be having these days? Well, first of all, let's stick with cow's milk because okay. for everybody, unless you have a milk allergy, that's what's recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Yeah. Best source of calcium okay. for kids. So we've got whole 2%, 1%, and what used to be called skim, which is now non-fat. Okay. All children should be working their way down the fat list until by the time they're five years old, they're either on 1% or non-fat milk okay. because we really don't need the extra calories and that's all that the whole milk has. Otherwise, all of these are identical. They have the same amount of calcium, same amount of protein. All milk has vitamin D by law. It's fortified. So by the time your child is five years old, you should have weaned them down from whole milk all the way down to either 1%, which is called low fat, mm -hmm. or non fat, which is called skim. Okay, super. What about flavored milks? Are they bad or can we incorporate them? They into are good. I knew you were going to say that. And okay. people love to hear that because yeah. when they don't serve flavored milk at school, kids don't even drink milk. Right, yeah. So some studies were done to show that if a child drinks flavored milk, they're not any fatter, they don't have what we call a BMI body mass index mm -hmm. that's any greater than a kid that doesn't. Okay. So if your child really enjoys chocolate milk, you have my registered dietitian's blessings. The studies show that for the little bit of extra calories that come from sugar, then they usually don't have the sugar in another food. So our body craves sugar, but this is just as nutritious as these milks. So if your child likes flavored milk, go ahead. It's a perfectly great way to get your dairy. Okay, even for big kids as well, right? Well, we have a lot of chocolate milk in my house. Okay, so good. All right. It's I like good to good for hear big that. kids too. Okay, what about for our lactose intolerant kids? What can what do we have for them? Well, first of all, don't give up. And mm -hmm. the American Academy of Pediatrics says lots of times a child who might appear to be lactose intolerant, if you give them small amounts of milk with food, milk on their cereal, milk with meals, they tend to be fine. Okay. So, I would not give up. Okay. If it runs in your family and you know you're lactose intolerant, Tolerant and your child has all those symptoms, then you can buy the lactose reduced products. Comes in the supermarket, the store brand is cheaper, so if you want that, that's fine. Okay. And you can also have dairy foods like hard cheese and yogurt. Because oh, okay. when you make cheese and you make yogurt, the sugar, lactose, is reduced down, it's broken down. Mm -hmm. I would not use some of these other milks that you just mentioned as okay. a substitute. The main source of protein in children's diets is cow's milk. If you look on the label of a lot of these, especially almond milk, which right now is the most popular, mm -hmm. one gram of protein versus eight grams of protein in cow's milk. Okay. So you're really losing out on protein for your child. So if you have to make a substitute because your child is allergic, soy milk is the best option. But if they're not allergic, cow's milk is definitely the best option. Okay, and just lastly, what about the moms and dads who say, I only buy organic for my kids? Is that necessary? Organic milk and cow's milk are identical. Okay. So all the nutrients are exactly the same. To know. Organic is a way that you farm, mm -hmm. but organic milk isn't any different than what we call conventional milk. Mm -hmm. So if you're worried about something called hormones, because we often had that on a label, mm -hmm. the hormones that are given to cows don't come out in the milk. Okay. And even if they did, you would digest them because they're a protein. Okay. So if you want to save yourself some money, yeah. you can buy conventional milk. If you choose organic because of other reasons, you think that you want to help save the earth, though dairy farmers do a great job of farming and taking good care of the land, that's an option. But okay. in terms of your children, conventional milk is just as nutritious and it's just as safe. Okay, well thanks, Althea. We're ready to pour a glass of and milk. And here's your chocolate milk. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll drink that later. Thank you. Cheers. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us, everybody. It's good to know. I'll